Hello, welcome back to Small Terrible Channel. So we are in our last module. That's module 5. I hope na subaybayan ninyo lahat para um, kung sakali ibibigay ko na itong soft copy sa inyo, hindi kayo mahihirapan kasi ina-explain ko naman dito, di ba? Okay, so simulan na natin ang last module and this is module 5. Let's add first the customized view of our soft learning module. Kasi ito ang makikita ng mga bata. Okay, nandito na tayo sa module 5. Ito ay quantitative concentrations of solutions. So, sa MELC or the most essential learning competency na ibinigay ni DepEd, ito ang nandoon. Express concentrations of solutions quantitatively by preparing different concentrations of mixtures according to uses and availability of materials. So, in this module, this is what we're going to learn and we have three targets so these are comprises the KSA or the knowledge the skills and the attitude part of our objectives so we have to define concentrations of solutions quantitatively compute percent by mass and percent by volume and show willingness to show the process of solving percent by mass and percent by volume so that would be our target in this module and we have the unlocking of difficulties and we have to try this this is the, our activity introductory activity for our students so all you have to do is they are going to click on the picture and so this is the fill in the blank wherein oh I forgot they should be column A this should be column B Alright, and this is column C, and this is column D, okay? So, in column A, this represents the solute, this is the solvent, and this column is for the solution. And this would be for the um, percent by mass or percent by volume. So, if you are given the solute and the solvent, all you have to do is you are going to add them, and you will have... The solution so 10 plus 100 ml that's 110 ml please don't forget to also write the unit ml okay then for the percent by uh, this is volume so that's percent by volume so all you have to do is you follow this formula solute divided by solution then times 100 actually only 100 okay so do we have a calculator here so all the student will do let's go back click it click it to pop up click it again to to uh, remove from the screen okay let's click on it and and you can drag it anywhere you want to um, you place this calculator so for example this one that's 10 because because it's solute divided by solution so 10 divided by its solution all right so do not use the solvent it's the solution 110 cause then the answer you're going to multiply it to 100 Okay, and your answer is 9.09. .09. Okay, 9.09. .09. Then I told you there's the percent, right? So just copy the percent symbol, and that would be your answer. So let's try to show our answer. I'll see, we have the correct answer. Okay, so just click on the calculator there for it to be. Um, remove from the screen and we have to delete click that click that delete button there so that it's cleared and for the students to uh, start it fresh okay then let's proceed to the next activity all right so this is an online video so I made this one I have this in my YouTube channel so this is calculating percent by mass percent by volume so I have just embed it here all right so if the student has no internet connection 
um, he or she cannot um, view this one so all right so I have to suppose it supposed to I have to make a PowerPoint for this so that the student can still can still look at it when um, even though they do not have an internet connection anyway so after this um, after this video making right now I am going to do it so that you are going to have it when you have the the soft copy of this ebook okay let's proceed to the next activity okay so it's explore okay so what is the percent by mass of 10 grams okay let's go back here now question one a solution is formed by adding 20 grams of ammonium nitrate to 200 grams of water what is the percent by mass of ammonium nitrate Okay, so we have the calculator. Okay, we are going to put this calculator. Anyway, so what is the solute? That's 20 divided by... Let's make this a desktop screen. Okay, so the solution is 20 then the 200 there is water so that's the solvent so take note that our denominator should be a solution so a solution can be obtained by adding the solute and the solvent so the solute is 20 then the solvent is 200 so our solution should be 220 so 20 divided by 220 then the answer we have the answer multiply it to 100 and your answer should be 9 point okay let's just click on the calculator for it to pop, pop out from the screen 9.09 .09. okay percent okay let's just show answers okay so see we have it correct okay we have it correctly then okay let's not forget to delete this before we close it all right okay so the next part of our module is the keep this in mind so this is the 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 abstraction part so the discussion part of our module so percent by volume is a measure of the concentration of a substance in a solution it is expressed as the ratio of the volume of the solute to the total volume of the solution multiplied by 100 so ratio means they are going to be divided to each other so solute would be in the numerator then solution should be on the denominator on the other hand percent by mass or mass percent is the mass of the element or solute divided by the mass of the compound or solution still the same solute divided by solution for the percent by mass then the answer multiply it to 100 so these are the useful equations for the percent by mass it's mass solute divided by mass solution times 100 percent by volume it's mass solute divided by mass solution times 100 then take note that solution is equal to solute plus solvent and in solving these mathematical problems in this kind of problems guys we need to have a unit consistency what do you mean by unit consistency when one is in kilogram the other is in gram we should make them the same unit like the key ki the kilogram make uh, convert it to gram or the gram convert it to kilogram and vice versa just always remember that one kilogram is equal to 1000 grams and one liter is equal to 1000 milliliters all right next part of our module apply what you have learned so which is more concentrated a solution containing 5 grams of salt in 10 grams of water or a solution containing 18 grams of salt in 90 grams of water show your calculations so they may have it in their piece of paper this time okay then the answer so all you have to do is 5 divided by 10 all right so that's the answer so this was taken in the teacher's guide of the Science 7 learning um, material. Then we have the reflect 
proportion. Um, given the table or the data, which is the solute of the solution, which is the solvent. So for the answer of this, it's given in the answer key portion. Then we have the solve me. Okay. This time, another problem solving. What is the percent by mass? Again, they may use this time um, another piece of paper because uh, the calculator is not anymore given here so that, so that they will be also challenged. Okay, so this is the sign for them to also be challenged and to find ways uh, to solve their own answer, uh, to, sol to solve their own problem, I mean, for them to arrive to an answer. And anyway, after they have solved it, they can choose to show answers and there will be answers already here. Okay, then let's proceed to the next part of our module, the glossary again. Then the answer key, and we have the references. Our last, our last uh, part of our module. Okay, so thank you so much. It's the end of quarter one. Congratulations! So if you are done or watching from module one, part one, part two, module two, module three, module four, and this module five, then I'm ready to give you hand to you the soft copy of this um this self learning module okay so thank you so much once again this is mama senho of a small terrible channel bye bye